you own a BMW fitted with an N54 twin turbo engine and you've noticed an annoying metallic rattle when letting off the throttle, don't worry, you're not alone. Commonly known as a wastegate rattle, this problem affects quite a few late model European cars, but in particular, the twin turbo BMW N54. Okay, let's take a look at one of the turbos from an N54 twin turbo setup. This turbo is internally wastegated, which means boost is controlled with a flapper valve located inside the turbine housing. The flapper is controlled by a pneumatic actuator, which opens or closes the flapper, holding or bleeding the excess exhaust gases from the turbine housing. The actuator is connected to the flapper via a rod and crank arm, which converts forward motion to rotating motion. And that pivot point is where the problem is. The rattle you hear is the result of excessive movement of the wastegate crank arm and the wastegate flapper. It's usually caused by the wear and tear of the wastegate bush or the crank arm itself, which causes the swivel joint to become loose. Once the joint has a fair amount of free play in it, the vibration of the turbo causes the wastegate flapper and the crank arm to rattle. This rattle can be heard at idle or low throttle, but it is most noticeable when letting off the throttle as RPM decreases. As the engine naturally produces vibration whilst running, the rattle is amplified and can be heard through the exhaust system. Aside from being really annoying, the rattle doesn't actually affect power delivery or turbo response. However, if left untreated, the rattle can get worse, causing the wastegate assembly to become looser and either not sealing properly on startup or potentially getting stuck in the open position, causing fault codes and low boost. Here at GCG, we have a quick and reliable fix, which involves replacing the faulty parts with heavy duty aftermarket components. So each turbo gets a new wastegate flapper, a new turbine housing bush, a new actuator rod end, and if required, a new external wastegate arm and a new wastegate circlip. All done. For more information on that simple fix, See the link in the video description.